Um, Mason, you know, you guys got off to a real terrible shooting start, but then you recovered, got the lead. Were you thinking you guys were going to be okay? Or what, what do you think happened in the last, last few minutes where Georgia Tech was able to make the plays and you guys couldn't quite get there? <clears throat> you got to give credit to Georgia, Georgia Tech for coming in here and just playing hard and just finding a way to win and making the right plays at the right time. But um, on us, we just, I guess tonight just wasn't the night. I guess we couldn't get a stop when we needed it. They executed every time they needed a, um, they needed a play to score or either we fouled or they got a layup or they made a shot when they needed it. It was just, I guess the night, the night wasn't just the night. You got to give credit to Georgia Tech. Yes, Mason, what did you make of uh, Jose Alvarado? I think he finished with uh, 20 and, and nine rebounds tonight. Is it a matchup problem, too? Uh, I'm not going to say a matchup problem, but he did have a great game. He he controlled the tempo of the game. I think he played, like, the whole game. Did he play the whole game? That is, like, you just got to give him his credit because he played the whole game, and, and, you know, we pressing the whole game, so he had the ball in his hand the whole time. So for him to play that good and not get tired, and for the coach to trust him out for 40 minutes is impressive. But he did have a good game. You got to give him credit when credit's due. Yeah, Mason, this is back-to-back -back home losses, and, and Walton Reed doesn't have them very often. Just kind of what's what's the mindset? Do you think maybe you guys just thought, you know, you got comfortable here? What, what do you think's going on? And how does this play into Saturday's game now? Oh, um, we just got to get back to work. I don't think we came in here thinking it was going to be comfortable because I know they just lost to Garden Webb. So I knew that we was in the same situation as West Kentucky. They lost. West Kentucky lost to Missouri State, and we knew they wanted to come here and try to get a win and get an impressive win. So we knew they was going to come out hungry. We can't. We tried. We came out. We came out a little lax, but we caught. We we can't. We caught up with them. We st we was missing shots early, but we started making shots. It was just at the end. It was like, who wanted more? And I guess they wanted more today. So like I said, you got to give credit to Georgia Tech for making the right plays at the right time. Yeah, the, the Gardner-Webb loss. I mean, college basketball, I mean, kind of crazy. When you guys saw that, so you don't, did you guys maybe let down a little bit? Or did you kind of know they're going to come in with a kind of mad and, you know, oh. they lost that game? Uh, we knew they was going to come here mad because first thing, First thing we all said was, okay, we they made they lost the Garden well, but we know we in the same predicament as West Kentucky. They they lost, like I said, they lost to Missouri State and wanted to come in and get a win, an impressive win. And they were just they were just they had they got all the loose balls. They made all the right plays when they needed them. They just, like I said, impressive win for them, and you gotta give credit to them. I think it's three straight games you guys haven't been able to get to eighty points. Um, what do you think is going on with the tempo and, and the offense? You're not, really not able to get into the tempo, y'all. What do you think is going on? What do you guys got to do to get back to the way you were playing earlier? Uh, I think we just got to uh, keep working hard. Just just keep fighting it out. All the, we're going to have battles through the season. We just, we 10 games in. We're learning a lot right now, but at some time we just got to make sure we put it all together. But at the end of the day, I feel like we're going to get back. Coach is going to get us back right starting back tomorrow. We just going we just got to keep grinding it out. I know it's going to be a tough loss and I know that the locker room we all we all down right now, but we all we all going God going to get us through and just we just got to trust his we got to trust the process, you know. We we might not people might not see the process right now, but I feel like it's just all this is all a plan, so I feel like we're going we going to be good down the road. We just got a little hook, hiccups and battles right now that we got to get over. But at the end of the day, we should, should be decent.